Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 65. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for the Class S Euro Tour. Finally getting into the supercars again before we get them taken away and then we get them back again and then taken away and then back again. It's just going to be an infinite cycle. But we're taking the Pagani Zonda for this one. Starting off with the Bugatti Circuit, uh, Circuit de Catalunya, Camino Vallo de Montserrat, Silverstone Racing Circuit, then Miguel Autodromo Internazionale. Let's go. I got a lot of fixing to do on my stream. I need to fix um, Touch Portal. That's broken. I need to fix my bot software and I need to fix OBS. Because all of them are completely outdated and fucking hell. Wow, that Bugatti pulls off the line. But he no corner very well. Except for the fact when I tap him on the Bunda. But to be fair, the Bugatti stock is like max S class. It's S700. I think it's 700. The Bugatti's going to pull away. Yeah, it's really slow in the corners, though. So that's... We're making it back! Bunda! That thing is quick! What the hell? Fuck! Yeah, Fallout 76 is quite a big game, so... I think it's about uh, 70 gigs. That's it. I got the pass. No, FH5 is just bigger than it needs to be and quite frankly ridiculous. Uh, I'm running this on medium. 115. Oh, what? Are you on about FH5 or Fallout? Yeah, it's 81 gigs on Xbox, but... FH5 is bigger on PC. Not by much, though, surprisingly. Do you know what else isn't much? The distance between me and this Bugatti behind. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, because if you've got Horizon 5 installed on your PC, it's taken up a lot of space. Gran Turismo 7 is smaller than Forza, to be honest. I've got an angry Bugatti on my ass. 
On my ass, on my ass, on my ass. I got an angry Bugatti on my ass. On my ass, on my ass, on my ass. I got an angry Bugatti on my ass. On my ass, on my ass, on my ass. Get the f fuck back. Hey, not bad. Um, to be honest, for Gran Turismo to come to PC, I think it's fairly slim at the moment. I think that's going to be one of the last titles that they bring over because, um, Gran Turismo just doesn't seem that tight. They're sort of trying to focus it and keep it in the PlayStation ecosystem for as long as possible. But... I do think maybe Gran Turismo 8 could possibly come on PC. The only problem is they would need a killer anti-cheat um, to be able to get rid of cheaters from the PC platform. And that's one of the reasons why I think maybe Gran Turismo may never come to PC is because hackers and stuff like that because that's a very competitive video game so PC7 is not 125 it's smaller than that on PS5 it's like 118 something like that I don't have a clue, to be honest. Steam Deck stream when? Oh, God. Well, to be honest, I don't think I can stream off the Steam Deck. Unless I use desktop mode. But I, j I think that thing is just too weak to stream and game. In terms of gaming off of it... Here's the problem with gaming off the Steam Deck as, like, a stream. Why would I do that when I'm using my PC here already? Why would I go through the hassle to plug it into a Steam Deck? And stream off the Steam Deck. So, it's kind of difficult. But yeah, anyways, how are you today, uh, Jarrett? Hopefully you're having a good day. Play on PC and stream off Steam Deck. Could do that. The only thing is the Steam Deck only has a 4-core processor. So it's got a worse processor than my PC. It's not designed for streaming and stuff like that. You got 9,800 XP. Woohoo! Intake manifold and throttle body and oil and cooling upgrades by Pagani are 10% off. And chassis reinforcement by Sparco Italy are 10% off. This is a good song. I like that. <laughs> Wish.com Steam Deck. Fuck no. Ah, uh, bye bye Bugatti. Bye bye Bugatti. Look how early the Bugatti breaks. I'm using an actual 360 for this. Everything in this series is going to be native. Um, except for Motorsport 1. That was emulated, but it was emulated on the 360, so... It was a more native experience than if I was emulating it off of a PC, for example. Meow. That Bugatti is angry. 
Everything native on stream. Thank God you're not in the US. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, I know I'm using a PS5 controller. So what? <laughs> Well, technically speaking, um, yeah, I suppose, I suppose. Technically speaking, the only true native experience is to play your console with the original controllers, and that is a true native experience. Uh, I'm using something called a Wingman. Uh, it's called a Wingman XB. Basically turns any controller into Xbox inputs, but I obviously use a PS5 controller for it. I've been using it for about three, four months now. And honestly, I don't think I could go back to using a normal Xbox controller. Jesus. Uh, they're about £40, so um, they're expensive if you're looking to get one just on its own, but it, you are right, Hans, but the thing is, if an Xbox controller is more comfortable, you're always going to favour an Xbox controller. If a PS5 is more comfortable, you're always going to favour that. So I find the Xbox, uh, the PS5 controller is much more comfortable for my hands, so I'm going to use it. And I needed to buy a new controller for the 360 anyway, so it was either buy a new 360 controller for 40, 50 quid. Or buy this dongle that allows me to use it, use controllers that I already have, plus be able to use the controller on my Xbox as well. Uh, my Xbox, uh, Xbox One. Yeah. Well, I find... So, with the Xbox 360 controllers, the problem that I had with them... Oh, shit. Is the triggers. They were very narrow. Um, and they felt like buttons almost. They were really good for first-person shooters. So, Call of Duty's in that. The 360 controller is really good. But after a while, using that... Like, pressing down on that with your finger on the throttle, because it's such a narrow trigger, it gets extremely uncomfortable after a while. Whereas the PS5 controller, the triggers are a lot wider. So I can play for a lot longer before my finger starts to get a little uncomfortable. Honestly, that Bugatti is absolutely flooring it. I kind of forgot it was behind me for a lap. And then it passed me and I was like, ah, fuck. <laughs> One more sweet moment. I don't think it's actually possible to get a car faster than Bugatti because it is like... I think the Bugatti's in the wrong class. It should be R3. Ah, oh, shit. Give it upside down F1 arrow and it will fly. I'd, I genuinely think... Um, with how powerful F1 car arrow can be... You could probably see it... Um, what's it doing? Getting a PS5 controller out and a PS5 that's breaking the law. Not really. A lot of people are recommending buying the PS5 controllers for PC users. Because they are good controllers. And if you use them on PC, they're, they are actually natively supported through Steam and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, quite a few gamers are buying PS5 controllers to use them. And especially with the new... Um, PlayStation games that are coming out on PC, like, they're pumping out a lot of the PS5 titles on PC now. Which is, like, the perfect opportunity to buy a PS5 controller for it. Oh, yeah, that's fine.
But yeah, I won't be buying um, any more like Xbox controllers, PlayStation. Con well, actually, no, I won't be buying another Xbox controller. I'll just be buying more PS5 controllers. Uh, when the next generation of consoles come out and they bring out like PS6 and Xbox Series 2.0 X. <laughs> Honestly, Xbox, your naming scheme is really shit. Really shit. But yeah, when they bring out that uh, generation... Series C. C for... Oh, fuck, I've cocked up the naming scheme. <laughs> GTA 5! Yo, Jesus, what's up? Welcome. How are you today? Ha, Jesus has joined my chat. Let's go. And we believe... It's been leaked. That's fair enough. Could you send me the uh, webpage, Kodo, so I can take a look? Because I'm interested. Fuck you, Bugatti. Get out of here. Uh, yeah, so we're playing uh, FM3, Jesus. Um, we're playing through every single Forza game. Um, I've already finished Motorsport 1 and 2. That is on my um, YouTube. So if you type in exclamation mark YT, we've got a link to that. But yeah, welcome. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> this is a tune. I love this song. Okay, this one should be easy to do against the Bugatti because um, it's lots of corners, so. She said you know me well. Oh, yeah. She said, my boy, it's Dagger. Oh, yeah. Mech is having a mental breakdown. When am I not having a mental breakdown? Let's be honest. Give me gear. Thank you, dear. Bring your sister over here. Let her dance with me just for the hell of it. <laughs> what a tune. This is, if you live in the UK, this is like one of the UK's national anthems. Like, we obviously have God Save the King as our national anthem. Because the Queen's dead. So it's now the King. But, we obviously have that as our actual national anthem. But the songs that sum up Britain, this is one of them. Mr. Brightside is another one. <laughs> Bring your sister over here, Alabama. Hee <laughs> hee. I don't even know what the fuck that was. Give me gear, thank you dear, bring your sister over here, let her dance with me just for the hell of it. I like how I'm on the ex pretty much the exact same corner for the exact same section of song as the last lap. Impressive. Do, 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 do. I've gone wide. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, this Zonda is beautiful in this yellow color. Oh, 
Oh, Charles Leclerc has gone wide. He's put on 300 pounds. <laughs> I'm going to have to look. Um, so I want to look into getting a brand new capture card when we start playing uh, Motorsport 5. Uh, and Horizon 1, actually. Because those games on the Xbox One X support, uh, like, HDR and stuff like that. Like, everything supports HDR. But, like, the Xbox obviously has HDR support. Um, and I want to send that through uh, my system with HDR on. Get a HDR monitor so I can see it. Um, and record in HDR. Because on it, uh, apparently HDR is like looks so much better than normal. I couldn't clip mental breakdown due to Twitch being Twitch. Oh, don't worry. I've recorded it. It's going to be on YouTube for eternity. Or until YouTube dies. <laughs> One or the other. Here tonight. When everything is said and done. If you have it digitally, you can play it on any Xbox. Oh! Buckaroo. But if you have a Series S um, or an Xbox One S Digital Edition, then you will need FH1 digitally to play it on that. But if you play it physical, you can also play it on anyone. Yeah, but the One S had a digital version as well, Wolfie. They did, at the end of the life cycle of the Xbox One in general, they did a One S digital only edition to get rid of extra, like, One S boards. Do 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 do. Summer, I feel fine. God, that lag. <laughs> My Xbox was n having none of it. We got thirteen grand there. Not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, I know a lot of people talk about having like HDR on their TVs, on their games consoles, and it apparently looks amazing and shit like that, so. I mean, to be fair, this monitor that I have is the best monitor I've ever seen, but new Lord of the Rings home environment now available in Quest. Oh, what? On the uh, Quest 2 thingy. Never mind, there's nothing I can do.
yeah, it makes the colours more livelier. Um, and then you have Dolby Atmos. Um, for screens, which makes things even more vivid. But that is less... Um, For non-HDR person, it looks like overexposed. Oh yeah, if you look at it, um, if you look at HDR content on a normal monitor, yes, it looks overexposed. Um, I've done that before as well. So my PS5 obviously has like auto HDR recognition. So if a monitor doesn't support it, it just doesn't enable it. But when I plugged it into this matrix, this matrix that I have, it's fucking killer. It supports um, basically everything. So 4K, 60 FPS, uh, 1080, 120, but every single monitor and every single device has to be 120 hertz. So basically it doesn't work. Because <laughs> there's no chance I'm going to get every device in my setup to be 120 hertz. But, um, yeah, it supports HDR, surround sound through HDMI, all that stuff. So, it supports everything. It's killer. That's why it was so expensive. But it means I'm future-proof probably for the next 10 years with it. It will break before I um, need to buy a new one. Get, 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 get low when the whistle blows. I still need to look for a um, PS2 to HDMI adapter. Because I broke mine. PS2 is not 120 hertz. <laughs> 60 hertz was barely a thing when the PS2 came out. Unless you're on about the PS5. <laughs> Unless I accidentally said PS2, in which case I didn't mean that. <laughs> get low, get, get, get low. Ah, fair enough, Wolfie. Fair enough. Imagine. That'd be amazing, though. I would love to see some, um... I know it's all down to licensing... Car companies won't want their old stuff being put on. But a uh, Gran Turismo 4 remaster would be quite nice. Honestly, the... There have been very few moments, but when I um, got that Steam Deck and I was playing, like, handheld console games, that was almost like a crying of nostalgia kind of vibe. Like, I, I put Colin McRae Dirt 1 on there, on the Steam Deck, and playing that in handheld, better than what the P uh, PS3 played it, was phenomenal. Such an experience. You want me to come over? I got an excuse. 
Might be holding your hand, but I'm holding it loose. Avoid the obvious. I think I'm going to grab a drink after this race because I am thirsty. I'm impressed that Bugatti's keeping up, but to be fair, this is a uh, track that has a lot more straights, so... Get high, get wandering eyes, forget I never ever had it so sweet. When you add it up, this game has at least... So this has 220 events. Each one has, on average, four events. If you do the maths, we are quite easily doing nearly a thousand races in this walkthrough. Madness. Look into your eyes. Kick, kick starts again. What a tune. All right, here we go. Ta-da! Not bad. We got a 10% discount on intercooler upgrades by Forge Euro. All right, here we go. Closer to the prize at the end of the road. Yeah, man, 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 man. Fuck me, that thing gets distance. And then we come back. Look at the interior of this car. It's quite nice, actually. Why does the steering wheel seem tiny? Is that me, or is the steering wheel really small in this car? Quite nice to actually drive this in interior camera. Dun dun on the next one dun I'm dun and I'm on the next one dun We gotta you get out of the way <laughs> Interior camera is so much better in these games. Get out the way! You fat bug! Come on, I'm gonna try and get the pass. Go around the outside. The baguette has the acceleration. I'm on the inside. I've gone. I'm around the outside and the Bugatti is gone. It's been absolutely binned. He's fucking binned it, lads. He's fucking binned it. <laughs> okay, we can go back to the normal camera now. Distract. Oh, Bugatti's coming up on the inside. But the Zonda can break later. <laughs> this time. Oh, 
Cause this time you want it all Not bad, very good, very nice Not bad. I think so. I think so. So, FM8 or Forza Motorsport. Because they're basically like restarting the series, apparently. The new Forza. So, it's not going to release when they said. They said it's going to be um, spring uh, 2023. They said it was, so they did the reveal and sort of announced, like, they did that Xbox showcase and they said all the games in this showcase are going to be coming out within the year. So that obviously meant Forza had to come out basically uh, March, to Ju uh, March to May time. That sort of window. Q2. I don't think it's coming out in Q2. I think they just wanted to show it off in the showcase to show that they're developing it. So that they could get a little more hype around it. But then they're going to delay the game probably in Q1. Ah! Keep accidentally doing that. They're probably going to delay the game into uh, in Q1 or announce a delay in Q1 um, and delay till probably Q4 no not qualifying it, it means quarter <laughs> so like my Steam Deck for example wasn't supposed to be ready until Q4 like late Q4 and it was ready way too soon <laughs> That is the one thing that annoyed me about the Steam Deck. So I'd obviously put my pre-order in and I was wanting it to be, like, later. I literally did not have the money for the Steam Deck at the time it came. But I've worked it all out. Fuck off, Bigsby! <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> is Forza gonna take pole position? Oh no, Forza's lap's been invalidated. Looks like they're going to be starting in 8th position. <laughs> Behind Gran Turismo. I think though Forza has a chance to actually like finally be better than Gran Turismo. Because Gran Turismo has always been that little more popular as a motorsport game. Just because it's on PlayStation, it's been around longer. But Forza has its chance to jump up and overtake as long as it does everything right if it doesn't then you could probably say goodbye to Forza to be honest because especially with how this game might go around this could be the last Forza Motorsport but I know when I finish my mega series um, depending on how the new Forza Motorsport plays and how the progression is depends on if I'll add it to my series. The only thing I'm concerned about is the new Forza game. The way that they've sort of been pushing it sort of sounds like they're pushing towards a live service thing. You know, Forza Motorsport, it's just going to be its own thing. So if it is live service, then I won't be doing it in the playthrough. I've tapped the touchpad again. So yeah, if it is a live service game, I won't be doing the new Forza in the Mega Series. 
because live service you just can't do a normal playthrough with it. And me keeps reminding me. No, no. We got a decent distance over the Bugatti behind us. Keeps reminding me. Oh god, I've just remembered we gotta do American S class. That's gonna be fun. Alright, 16 grand, 5 grand in XP. Hey, welcome back, Cotto. And I'll take my rewards, thank you very much. More money. I've only got 500,000. It's all your fault, chat, making me buy a uh, thingy bob bob. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Uh -oh.